Today on Design, Build and Fix, we're going to show you how to draw those posts and beams in SketchUp that you laid out in our previous video so you have the ability to make your basement as open as possible. And remember, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, let's show you how to get this done. All right, so the first thing you have to do is decide, do your beams run front to back or are they gonna run left to right? And that's a relatively easy way to figure out. I'm just gonna take a tape measure and measure this distance. And we see that that's 33 feet four. And we know that the biggest span that we're trying to get is about 15 feet. So that means we're gonna have more than two that run this way. Uh, so we're gonna have more than one. So we'll actually have probably two that run probably be one here and then be a long one here and then we have to deal with this long span too so it's probably going to need another one here. Uh, if we do run them this way we know if we get this distance this distance is going to be 46 feet 4 and if I take that 46 divided by 4 areas that's going to be 11 foot 5 or so that might be a little bit more user friendly than the other distance that we're going to get. So ultimately for this house that I'm going to show you here, we, we're going to run them front to back. Okay, so basically what I did is I took, to do this first beam, I took this space, cut it in half, and put it through here. Now if it landed too close to this corner, you don't want to be within six inches of this corner, so I backed it up and put the beam here. And then what I did is uh, I came over here and did another calculation, well not calculation, but I made sure this one was about six inches away from here and put another beam and so that's going to require another beam to go here and so in order to do that I want to split that in half so I'm going to measure the distance from from here over and that distance is 21 foot 11 and 3 quarters and we want to put that, uh, we want to put that in the middle point. So the easiest way to do this is, as opposed to doing the math is I'm just going to I'm just going to draw a line and then I'm going to draw an, another line from the midpoint. Okay. Now instead of doing the line I'll put a guide on there. i go in this direction. So that gives me the center of the span between here and here. Okay, So I can get rid of that line now that we don't need. All right, so now that we have that, we know that that's the center of our beam, so what we're gonna to have to do now is um, we're going to have to uh, go this way, half the distance of the beam. Now our beam is going to be uh, uh, three two by 12s, so that's four and, a half, four and a half inches. If you take four and a half and divide by two, you're gonna get 2.25, so we're gonna 2.25 this way. And we're going to go, go 2.25 that way. Okay, so that's going to give me the width of my beam. Now we have to put the beam ups and up and down. And we're going to go down, get on the blue plane. And a 2 by 12 is 11.25 inches deep. Okay, so now that I have that on there, now what I want to do is to be able to put my lines on there. So I'm going to, to, to put my beam on there. I'm going to break this and just just bring these straight down and now I have a place where I can draw my rectangle which will be my beam. I'm going to go from intersection to intersection. Did I not make it? Let's try it. We can do this two different ways. We can do um, 4.5 comma 11.25, and that's going to give me my beam. For some reason, I just didn't get that intersection, but there's always two ways to do something. All right, so now what I want to do is push-pull that. I'm going to push-pull this over to this wall here. All right, so now we have our beam in place, and we can go ahead and get rid of our guides. Okay. 
There we go. All right, so now we have our guides in there. Our, our guides are gone. So now what we want to do is to actually put our posts in there. And so what we're going to do is we have to figure out how many posts we're going to need. So let's measure this. Come over here and we we'll measure. And we're at 19 foot 4 inches. All right, so let's take 19 times 12. Because there's 12 inches in a foot. 19 times 12. Good. If I can use my calculator. 19 times 12. Then I'm going to add on, what was it? 4 inches plus 4 gives us 232 inches. Okay? So we're going to divide, so that's probably going to, if that's 19 foot 4, if I just cut it in half, that's going to give us about 9 ish feet. That's going to be too far. So we're going to definitely need 3. So I'm going to divide that, or need 2 posts or 3 areas. So I'm going to divide that by 3. gives us 77.33 inches. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing that up here, because we want to find the center of our stuff down here uh, for our footer and our pole, so I'm going to grab the measure tool, click here and go 77.325, because that's 3 eighths. Then I'll do the same thing over here, 77.325. It's only going to be off by 5 thousandths each one, so that's not going to be a big deal. And so now we have is the center of our post. And that's based on the bottom. We don't want to go from the top because everything we're going to draw from here is going to go up. Now what we want to do is we have the center of our post. We want to put on our footers like you see back here. And those footers are going to be 24 inches wide. So I'm going to go 12 inches this way. And I'm going to go 12 inches this way. Same thing on this one. that one. Go 12 inches here, 12 inches there. Okay, so now what we have to do is to find down here the opposite side of that. So I'm just going to put another guide on here that's going to show me this edge as it goes up and down, which gives me an intersection point. So I'm going to come across here. And that's going to give me a guide. Now that is the left side of this beam. Now we know that our beam, our, our footer itself is going to be 24 inches. So I'm going to take 24 and then I'm going to subtract out the four and a half inches for here. Subtract out 4.5. That gives us 19.5 inches that's left over. And I'm going to divide that by two. It gives me 9.75. So there's 9.75 here and then we can offset the 24 to get the other side of our footer. So we'll come over here and I'm going to go 9.75 and then I'm going to come over here 24 and as you can see I now have my footer spaces. I can put my rectangles on. And then I'm going to push pull those down and those are going to be 12 inches deep. A little bit deeper than the foundation, uh, just because you have more of a point load on there. Okay, so now I can get rid of all my guides. I don't really need them anymore. It's going to be in the way. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the center of that. So I'm going to put some guides on here for the center. Same thing on this one. And I'm going to draw a circle. And because what's going to happen is when I draw my circle, that is going to be my post. And my post has a diameter of 3 inches, but it's asking for a radius, so I put in 1.5. And then same thing here, 1.5. And that's going to give me my posts. And I'm just going to push pull that up until it hits on edge. And then you can see that it goes all the way up. edge and we can get rid of our guides All right so 
Now at this point, we still have more to do. You still have to put them over here. Now, you don't really have to redraw those things because what you could do is just turn them into a group, which you're going to want to do anyways. Turn it into a group and then a component and then locate where they are and just move them over there so you don't have to redraw everything. Uh, and you've used the move and the component and the grouping uh, tool before in the past. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my, uh, my basement. And now what I'm going to do is create a new layer called beams. Uh, we'll call it beams and posts. And say OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, we should, see these are already grouped, so I'm going to group these together. I'm going to make a group out of them. Oh, let's undo that. I just want to make a group out of that. Right click. Got to click it just right. All right, make a group. I'm going to do the same thing here. Make that a group. And then I'm going to make everything. Make that a group. And now that I have that as a group, let's make everything a group. I didn't quite get it. All right, so now it's a group, and we're going to go over here to our posts and beams, and that is the tag. Turn it off. Done. And now you have pretty much everything that you need as far as your posts and beams. The only thing left to do here is to make those up, but the process is going to be pretty much the same. So that's how you make posts and beams in SketchUp. All right, well, thanks for watching another video. Remember, life's about what you can do, and it's based on what you know. So learn something so you can do something. If you like the content here on Design, Build, and Fix, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, we'll see you on the next one.